Hello, my name is Denise and welcome to Storytime. Today, we are going to be reading The Magic School Bus Blows Its Top, a book all about volcanoes. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Good morning, class. It started like any ordinary day in Miss Fizzle's class, but that doesn't mean much. There aren't any ordinary days in Miss Fizzle's class. That morning, we were trying to put together an enormous globe, but we didn't have all the pieces. So the whole thing fell apart. Carlos, said Dorothy Ann, her nose in the instruction book. If you spent more time on research, you would know how to put this globe together. Carlos dusted himself off. And if you didn't spend so much time doing research, you could have helped, he answered. Miss Fizzle looked over the mess. I'm afraid you can't put that globe together until you have all of its pieces. You see, there's an island so new, it hasn't been discovered yet. How can there be a new island, asked Phoebe. The earth never changes, does it? The earth is changing all the time, said Miss Fizzle. Right underneath your very feet, we all look down at our feet but nothing was moving. Dorothy Ann wanted to find clues to the island in her books, but Carlos wanted us to search for the mystery island. That way we could name it. What an explosive idea, said Miss Fizzle happily. To the bus. This is your captain speaking, announced Miss Fizzle. When we settled on board, on behalf of my flight crew, I want to thank you for flying the magic school bus. We knew what that meant, so we quickly fastened our seatbelts. Then we put our seatbelts in our upright position. And it looks like it was time to blast off. Let's see what happens next. The magic school bus began to spin, stretch, pull. The next thing we knew, we were high in the sky. Soon we were flying over the ocean. The sky grew dark and big black clouds floated past. The island should be arriving any minute now, announced Miss Fizzle. How could an island just arrive, we wondered. But then thunder boomed, lightning streaked across the sky. The ocean beneath us bubbled like a pot of boiling water. From out of nowhere, a blanket of Dark ash covered all the windows. Prepare to land, said Miss Fizzle. Let's see what happens next. The bus grew surfboard pontoons and we surfed to a stop right on top of the water. We all climbed off the bus. There was no land anywhere in sight. Do you see any land in this picture? I don't think so. Let's see what happens next. But Miss Fizzle had an inflatable life raft. Carlos jumped in first. Splash! A big wave over the pontoon, sending Dorothy Ann's book bag flying out into the sea. I need my books to find that island, wailed Dorothy Ann, as the books sank. We have to get them. Please, Miss Fizzle, please. Do you see her book bag in this picture? There it is, all the way at the bottom, sinking all the way down into the ocean. Let's see what happens next. Of course we'll get them, agreed Miss Fizzle. Prepare to dive, class. Everyone climbed back into the bus. Then the frizz pressed a button and the magic school bus twisted into a submarine. A submarine is a vehicle where people can go inside to go deep into the ocean. Carlos decided to stay on the raft. He wanted to be the first one to spot out the new island. Arnold stayed too but for another reason. He already had enough of our field trip. Wow, it looks like they went all the way deep into the ocean. We waved goodbye while Carlos, Arnold, and Liz buckled up their life jackets. Batten down the hatchets, the fizz called loudly, and down, down, down we went. Do you see the class in this picture? They're all the way down there. Wow, we couldn't believe what we saw. A huge underwater mountain. Dorothy Ann spotted her book bag right away. It floated past the window on its way to the ocean floor and landed next to an old shipwreck. 
Do you see a ship in this picture? Do you see Dorothy Ann's book bag? The bus scrunched up tight. Then it shot us out like a cannon. Good thing we had our special diving suits. Dorothy Ann swam over to her book bag, but the strap was looped around the tentacle of a giant squid. <gasps> ah! Dorothy Ann screamed. The squid was swimming away. I got my bag. Just then the ocean floor began to tremble. The ship started to shake and we heard a loud rumbling sound. <sighs> it was an earthquake. An earthquake is when the floor and the earth begins to shake. We were so surprised, we didn't even see Dorothy Ann's book bag when it floated past, pushed upward by the gas bubbles. Do you see any gas bubbles in this picture? The bubbles floated to the top of the sea. Pop! The bubbles burst, letting out a terrible smell. Look, cried Carlos as he snatched up Dorothy Ann's book bag. Maybe we can find out what's going on by reading Dorothy Ann's books. Meanwhile, the frizz was trying to cheer up Dorothy Ann. There's more than one way to discover an island, she said brightly. So we all dived deeper into the ocean. Brr, it's getting cold. Even the bus shivered. Then we noticed something strange. There were funny looking chimneys in the ground and they were warm. Phoebe poked her head in close and poof, got a face of smoke. Take a look at Phoebe. Do you see the chimneys? Do you see the smoke? No. Keisha swam over to a deep cannon in the ocean floor. It was shaped like a V. Maybe Dorothy Ann's books fell down there, she said. There's only one way to find out, said Miss Fizzle. We swam back to the bus and soon we were heading deep down into the canyon. The magic school bus shuddered and groaned and grunted. It stretched like a long, thin rubber band. And so did we. As one plate, a plate is a large sheik of rock. As one plate shoved under the other, we squeezed in between. Now we ooze through hot, swirling liquid deep beneath the earth. It's so hot, said Keisha, fanning herself. The rocks in the crust are melting. Melted rock is called magma, explained Miss Fizzle. Dorothy Ann wrinkled her nose. She was trying to figure it all out. She remembered the chimneys and the heat under the ocean floor, the earthquakes and the mountain. <gasps> We're under an underwater volcano, she shouted. Under the volcano, the magma pushed us up, up, up. Soon we were rising up in a big blob of boiling hot bubbles. Welcome to the magma chamber, said Miss Fizzle, the heart of the volcano. The pressure grew stronger and stronger. The magma rose higher. Ralphie gulped. How do we get out of here, he asked. Out of a volcano, Miss Fizzle repeated. How do you suppose? How do you think you're going to get out of the volcano? Let's see what happens next. Dorothy Ann was too excited to be scared. When all the magma shoots up and hits the air, it will cool down, right? She asked Miss Fizzle. Absolutely, said Miss Fizzle. And when it cools, it will harden back into a rock. Eventually, agreed Miss Fizzle. And the new rock will build up the top of this volcano, Dorothy Ann continued, until it sticks out of the water. It will be a brand new island. Yes, shouted Miss Fizzle. It looks like Dorothy Ann figured it out. Just then, we shot up through the bubbling magma like a rocket ship, higher, higher, closer to the top. We jolted to a stop. Oh no, cried Dorothy Ann. We've stopped rising. Something must be plugging up the volcano, said Keisha. And the magma squeezing us out, explained Phoebe. Carlos had no idea we were in such a tight spot. He still had his head buried in Dorothy Ann's books. 
a lot of stuff is blown out of a volcano when it erupts. Erupts. Erupts is the science word for when a volcano goes boom. Volcano ash, dust, and rocks, and so much more, he continued to explain. Meanwhile, we jump into an anti-magma gear, and we were pushing the plug with all of our might, but it wouldn't budge. That's when Miss Fizzle and the magic school bus went into action. They rammed the plug again and again, and then kapow! The plug popped out. The magma boiled into glowing clouds of ash and rock. Then it all settled down with a rush of steam. With a sight, red hot lava poured down the side of the volcano. The volcano grew bigger and bigger, and finally, it was an island. The first person to reach the island was our little lizard friend right here. So they named the island Lizard Island. And that is the end of our book, The Magic School Bus Blows Its Top. So much fun and we learned so much about magma, volcanoes, and how new islands actually appear. Next time we meet, we are going to be making our own volcano and making it erupt, which is the science word for when a volcano goes boom. We can't wait to see you next time. We hope that you're staying safe, having a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye!